All right, so I was playing Yahtzee the other day with a, a colleague of mine, and um, what happened was I was doing absolutely pathetic, and towards the end I needed to roll a Yahtzee, and I rolled a four. Oh, I rolled, it, actually I rolled five different um, numbers. And uh, I re-rolled, and I ended up with five different numbers again, so I just kept one. I figured, well, I'll keep the three, you know, uh, or I'll keep the four, and I'll see... Um, if I can roll four other numbers that were the same. So now, let's see what the probability of me doing this was. Um, we know from before that if I did, I have four numbers, I choose zero of them, the probability of rolling a Yahtzee is one out of six, So the, and I'm just going to be successful zero times, and the probability that is not going to roll four is five out of six, and I get four, and if I do this, so the probability of rolling zero. If you want to come to my house today? No, no, um, we're not inviting people to our house. There's a big domino. Yep, there is a big domino in our in our house. Um, what's the probability of rolling one four? Well, I do this, and I get five out of six to the third. And when I do that, I get zero point three eight five eight zero point three eight five eight. Um. If I continue on for choose two, this is a probability that's going to roll exactly two um, fours. It's five out of six, and that's going to be zero point one one five seven four. Um, four choose three I'm sure times. Uh, that's going to be a one. And if you, in case you're wondering how I, I'm doing this so fast, as I did it before I turned on the, the video, I get 0 0.1543, 0 0.01543, and 4 choose 4, believe it or not, is ridiculously small. That should be 4 times 5 to the 6 is 0. Then, alright. Um, and it ends up being. 0 0.0007716. Um, this is about 48%, and this is about 39%. This is approximately 12%. This is approximately 2%, and <laughs> this is approximately 0%. If I add this up, let's see, 2 and 48 is 50. 89, 99, I get 101%, which obviously is not correct, but that's because I added. Um, I rounded, and then I added, and we rounded up every single time except for once, and that one time was insignificant. Anyway, the, pro the question is, what's the probability that I would get at most, at most, Two of the fours. Well, in order to find that out, I'd have to find I'd have to find the probability I get zero fours, or the probability I get one four, or the probability I get two fours, which I could do. But had I not done all this work beforehand, it would have been pretty pretty hard to figure out. So what I'm going to suggest is this: on your graphing calculator. If you press me, uh, nope, that's not true. If you press second and then vars, really the function we're after is the distr, the distribution function. If you press second and uh, vars, and vars is to the left of clear, and you go all the way down to where you see binomial CDF. You press enter. And what you're going to do is you're going to enter in your n trials, um, the probability of being successful, and the total number that you want. Uh, and it's oh, it's in this order. So if you have a different calculator, um, or a calculator, not like uh, like one of the newer TI 84s you're going to have weird things that will say X trials, P, and then I forget what R is, but this is the order you put it in.
So I'm going to type in, I have binomial CDF, I'm not going to type in n because my n is 4, my p is 1, 6, so 4, comma, and the comma is above the number 7, 1, 6, comma, and then r, which is 2. And when I press enter, I get Uh, oh, phew, yeah. I got 0 0.9837. I'm just going to leave it as 0 0.98. And that makes me happy because that's actually what I wanted. Well, what if I had the prob probability of at least, at least three, um, three of the fours? Well, the problem here, I'm going to have to erase some of this to make space. The problem here is the calculator, as clever as it is, won't do that. Um, and I'm going to explain as soon as I finish erasing. Oh boy. So here's, here's what I can have. The calculator always starts with the cumulative frequency uh, density uh, frequency function. It always starts from zero and goes up. So if I want to find at least three of the fours, it's going to be three or four. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do I recognize that there's a hundred percent, which is one. So I'm going to do one minus the binomial. CDF of four trials with the probability of one six up to two. And the reason why is because this is going to be 100% minus all of this here. And when I do that, I end up with 0 0.16. Two o, etc., etc. Oh, I'm sorry. That's not true. I get point zero one six. Got very, very worried there for a second. Point zero one six, which is approximately point zero two. And take a look. That makes sense because that's ninety eight percent. That'd be two percent. That'd be a hundred percent. So, like I said. If you're trying to find something that doesn't start at zero, you have to think differently and figure out how can I start at zero and still get at what I want. And the answer is by starting with 100% and subtracting the zero all the way up to the value before the ones that you're looking for. I want to start with a three, so I go went to the two. All right, that's it. Hope this uh, hope this has been helpful.